Hey what's up guys this is Piran Chitwari here and you've been watching Programming Nation. So today we are going to uh, make an, an octagon. In the last episode I taught you about how to making a, a heptagon that's a 7 sided polygon and this will be making 8 sided pol polygon that is octagon. So in that video, in the last video I gave you a few tips and tricks for that of making uh, how to make 2D figures and all. So in this, uh, in this video also I'll be uh, implementing the same tips and tricks in making an octagon. So first we'll be writing CLS as usual on the screen. That's a formality and end so that we can show you uh, directly the output after each line we have drawn. So as we know that eight sides are there and each uh, and there are total four pairs of parallel sides. So first, as I told you, I always uh, used to start making a figure from the down. So the first line. Uh, which I have numbered will be the base so let me just write first the base as we know it's a base will be at a horizontal line so we need to write 200 base is really simple to make so that we can directly make uh, that won't be tough for us so let us see as you can see the base is there the down then the next line will be uh, will be the bottom left uh, sorry, the, huh, it will be the bottom left. So the starting point of line number one will be also the starting point of line number two because they both that point is connecting these two lines. And the ending point will be as it is a slanting line, so it should be um, the ending point. So it's moving towards left. So the x-axis will decrease. So it will decrease to hundred directly to hundred. And then as the height is increasing, then the uh, what we say. Now as the height is increasing then the y axis will also uh, will decrease so uh, over here let us see the output yeah so yeah that's a perfect one which we are getting over here so so the next line will be the third line and we am um, as i have told you i love to move uh, these in a clockwise manner so that becomes easier that so that we can easily be able to get the uh, for starting point of each line so now the starting point of line number 3 it will be the starting point of line number uh, sorry ending point of line number 2 will be the starting point of line number 3 so as we have copied that down and then so it's uh, as the third uh, third is the ball, uh, ball, uh, middle left so the middle left is uh, a horizontal line so that a horizontal line is always is having y x axis same so over here 100 will be there and then 200 as the ending point because the height is increasing but the uh, what we say the it is just uh, the x axis is constant and it is not moving towards left or right so that why that's why uh, the x axis will remain same but the y axis will increase because the height is increasing uh, sorry decrease because the height is increasing yeah so the next one will be line number 4 and we'll just copy it out in the this as we know the, the these points are joining each other so at the line number four will be like as the x x as, as it is moving towards the right hand side that's why uh, the x axis will increase so and that and this line number uh, the point number uh, the point that is line that is line fourth ending point is similar is parallel to the line uh, to this uh, starting point of line number one so the x-axis will remain same now there will be difference in the high as there is a difference between height then the uh, we have to see that what height should we write to get it perfectly i think so 100 will be better one and that's the let us see if it works yeah so you can see that the ending point of line number uh, four is the uh, is parallel to and uh, the starting point of line number one so over here the line number Y will be the will parallel will be parallel to line number one will be parallel to line number one. So we have first copy down this ending point as it is joining ending point of line number four to line and last starting point of line number five as it is joining each other. Then it's parallel to each other. That's why we'll uh, we will copy the x axis same as the both are horizontal lines. So we'll copy the x axis and the difference will be in the y axis because there is a variation in the uh, what we say height but not in the what we say from left there the point is not moving any anywhere from uh, left to right in these both parallel lines so the height will be 100 only so it's an easy task for us so let us see as you can see the plan is parallel to each other 
सो लाइन नंबर सिक्स विल बी द टॉप राइट सो एज वी नो दैट दिस या दिस इज करेक्ट एज वी नो दैट वी आर जस्ट कॉपिंग द लाइन एनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ लाइन नंबर फाइव विल बी स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ लाइन नंबर सिक्स देन सो वो हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द एनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ लाइन नंबर सिक्स सो द एक्स एक्सेस विल बी विल बी Uh, add up to 400. So the first we have to find what is the difference between the po ending point of line number three x-axis with the starting point of line number one. So x-axis over here 200 and 100. So that same difference should be there with the on the other side because we are trying to make it a regular one. So the 100 is the difference. So 500, 400 it is over here. So we will write 500. And the height will remain same. So the height was 200. So over here also 200. Yeah. So let me just run this. Yes, we are getting the right one over here. The line number four seven. So the line number seven will be 500, 200 starting point, and the ending point will be. We have to find the difference over here. So difference will be ending point of. Uh, Line number seven, so it will be the ending point of line number two is hundred, uh, and the and it's over here two hundred. So I think so it will remain as it's a horizontal line, so x axis will remain same. Difference will be in the uh, y axis. So as it is moving down, the height is decreasing, so the y axis will increase. So over here the increase, um, what it is over here is three fifty. So we will write the same three fifty. as they the points are parallel so you can see that's it and the last line as we have all the coordinates noted down over here so we will be writing like uh, yeah so the 500 350 over here and the ending point of line number 1 that will be joining this point like this and tada that's done man so now you can see that we are easily be able to make these type of figures so i hope you uh, have learned something from this and it has made your task easier and you have been easily be able to learn these so uh, in future we are uh, with the help of line command we are having few more like nine sided polygon 10 sided polygon and few special uh, quadrilaterals also which i'll be bringing for you in my next in the next few videos so i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if so and smash the subscription button for getting more videos like this i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you next time goodbye